What people do the most in Curator is analyzing offenses and doing searches. So no wonder the first two parts of the new UI focus on those things. In video number one, we show offenses. Let's actually go with searches. Let's say that I'm gonna be do, I want to do a search on a URL. So let's say I take uh, this URL. I'm gonna go to searches. Take a look at what happened over here. This is a search that I was playing with before. If I paste that search in here, notice that it says, what do you want a quick filter? You want any IP, source IPs, destination IPs. That says it's source destination IP. When I click here, boom, I get a, an AQL sample. So I don't have to start guessing and you know, and they look ahead telling me this and getting an error here and there. This is a perfectly built uh, query and I can decide well I don't want that magnitude column so I can actually go ahead and eliminate that magnitude but I want source IP destination IP destination port uh, you know it takes the QID and goes to the function QID description so it gets the full name and put it as event name uh, the l same thing with the log source with the ID of the log source give me the actual name so, so you get the point here is does a concatenation. So put some examples of the things that I need to do, uh, so I can I don't have to start from scratch. And here's the what I put is a source IP. Where source IP? This is the, the part that was automatically put in there, and it's a safe search for the last uh, two hours. So if I want to do it for the last uh, six hours, for example, I can go ahead and change that and change the limit of a thousand to less or more. So if I run the query now. Let's see what happened. I get all those uh, events for that source IP as we see here. And remember in the first video we talked about this having integration with the X-Force. This knows that uh, this is an internal IP as we can see here. Uh, here are all the events name. And, I can, and you can do filtering in here for, you know, show me only on event name, show me only the events are, are windows updated successfully for example you do that and boom you get only those so very nice and it's a good way of helping you uh, with those searches and same thing happen if you were to do a search with a with a url or a hash as you can see so if i paste here a I paste a url he said yeah is that the url that's actually a malicious one and uh, I'm not going to have any event here on that, but uh, you can run the query. And here you have the information about the last search. So very nice. A good way of really getting yourself initiated into AQL. Once you have this done, you can go, for example, to Pulse to create your nice graph. And in fact, there is a version of the latest version of Pulse integrates with the new UI. So if I click here, I go to Pulse and notice that this view is different. It's actually in the same style of the of the new UI. It's pretty cool looking. So if I go, for example, here to a view that I like a lot, this uh, summary view, you'd see that it's the same information but with the new UI. Very, very good looking. And this is the first version. I'm sure that there's going to be lots of enhancements, so stay put and make sure that you keep updating your uh, your uh, new UI. And if you still like the traditional way of doing the thing, or you have the muscle memory to do your searches, uh, you haven't lost a thing. You still have the old way of doing things, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to be captivated by the fewer clicks that you need to go when you use the new UI. Something, you know, I think very well designed, not only good looking.